hello guys welcome back to my channel this has been a while that i've produced a video on lifestyle so today in this video we're talking about my personal journey on becoming a more feeling person i am an intj and as you all know we are more of a thinking type than the feeling type so in this video i'll like sharing from my own standpoint as an intj the areas in my life where i want to try to improve on which will be my first reaction to other people's emotion not asking why each time i encounter something new and how to pick people and feel sorry for others as an intj my first reaction to somebody that is sad will be like well it is normal people are bound to be sad from time to time it's something that happens to everybody you just need to accept your situation and time will you know will help you forget doing happy moments likewise i don't really see why I should be shouting, no jubilating, dancing, jumping like other people would do when they see somebody that's happy. Well, for me, I just know deep down there that, yeah, you deserve to be happy because you worked hard for it. If you succeed in the exams, you should be happy for succeeding because you worked hard for it. For me, it is okay to just know, understand at the mental level that you deserve to be happy. But deep down within me, I am happy for you and I know that you deserve that because you worked hard and I have much respect for you. I don't show that much, but that is what people want. People want us to sympathize with them and that is what I'm working on. Another difficult area in my life is always asking why each time I encounter something new. I don't accept things for what they are without asking why. If there is no answer to my why, I will temporarily accept it for what it is and try to prove it later or just accept for the sake of peace but knowing deep down in me that it is not what it is until i find evidence that says so another thing i've been seeing with me as an intg i don't know if it's common with other intgs out there is that i really don't know how to pick people apart from babies and children because it is morally correct to do that but i don't see the need to pick adults in other words I don't see the difference between being caring and supportive and being more romantic. You know, I've read a lot about romance, which is quite romantic in books and rocket science in reality. Although I can be a drama king to seek others' attention, I'm quick to see that in others and shy away instead of reciprocating the favor. I shy away from them for one reason. Attention is time consuming and time is my most precious community that I envy sharing with others. You can take away love, take away my food, but not my time. When it comes to feeling sorry for people, on a personal level, I am very compassionate about people. I will sacrifice to any extreme just to make someone I care about happy or make them feel safer. But I do not know how to sympathize with somebody for failing an exam. I think you there, even if you are not an INTJ, but it's very difficult to sympathize with somebody for failing an exams for which you know that proper preparations prevent poor performance or to sympathize with somebody because he or she missed a flight for a job interview and lost a golden opportunity. If you go to bed early, you will get up early. And besides, tomorrow is better planned for today. You see, although I always give the victim of such situation a 5% chance of things happening beyond control and jeopardizing their opportunities towards success, it is still very difficult for me to show sympathy towards such individuals mindful of the fact that there was a 95% chance of things going the right way under their control. Being more emotional, though normal, makes me feel thick, uncomfortable, pretentious, and at times guilty for no reason. On the other hand, not being emotional like other people will expect makes me look like a robot. Or a chief justice looking for ways to always persecute people or oh, that mr perfect that people hate or a disciple of the law of karma so far i have taken giant steps towards improving my human interactions and personal relationships when a friend is happy my first reaction is wow bro i'm happy for you come on i'm kidding instead of dramatizing it i let myself absorb the positivity and share in the delicious laughter and chit chat that leaves me happier than I came. I don't ask too many questions again because curiosity killed my cat. Nobody wants to understand the why in every situation like I do. 
So now, I spare them a good face and do my research later if I don't trust their answers. Or I permit myself to open my Pandora's box only when the person is a professional or an expert in that field that seduces my curiosity. In order to learn how to paint the babies in adults, I have learned how to stroke women's hair. I'm serious about this one. For men, I pat them. After that, I offer them a bottle of alcohol. It works for me. I don't know if it works for you. Somebody might see this as absurd, but that is how I've been able to put things in order. But one thing is for sure, I still cannot bring myself to sympathize with anybody, even myself, for filling an exam. But for the sake of peace, I tell them not to bother because there is still next year. And after all, examination is not the true test of knowledge. Learning without playing makes Jacks a dull girl. So I took the liberty to compile a playlist of my best dirty jokes for you to laugh out to this stress and recharge quickly like we introverts do. Please subscribe to this channel. It is free and do give me a like.